Hello everyone. Before we start the video, I want to give a big thanks to my good friend, Caden. He played the clarinet and bass on this song today, so go give him a follow. Self promotion time. You should uh, go follow my SoundCloud and check out my SoundCloud. Okay, now back to the video. So today I am going to be covering the artist, Villa Duve. Villa Duve is a collaboration project between artists, White Armour and Joachim Benin. Villa Duve's sound is very ambient, with very Nordic inspired melodies and atmosphere. Their project features a lot of icy synths from White Armour and live instrumentation, especially guitar from Joachim. Together they create the feeling of being in a magical winter forest in Sweden. So anyway, let's get started. In the beginning of the song, I wanted to keep it very simple, so the drop in this part would feel more open and satisfying. So first, I added these somber keys, which really sets the mood of the song. And these keys are complemented by these icy synths, which are going to lead into the drop of the song. Next, the drop, introduces a lot more melodies and icy synths, which all layer over each other to create this dreamy and winter vibe. So first I started making this very distant sounding melody. And layered IT with these saw keys. Then I added this lead saw that will add a nice sparkly high end. the piano to contrast the synths. And I added embellishments with these little bells, synths, and guitar. I made this melody with this pluck flute sound which brings a more Nordic vibe. Then I have this synth melody at the end to transition to the next section, and I use three different basses, one really punchy one to give a punch at the beginning of each four bars, and two swelling basses to fill in the gaps. Now we're at the middle transition section, this is where I strip back a lot of the synths and highlight the guitars. In this section, I stripped down the melodies, and made them play off the guitars. So first I added some synth plugs. I added a guitar that hits on the downbeat for more punctuation. Then I made this weird sounding lead. And I added these octaves. The next pattern I made was with these violin plucks which bring a different texture to the section. And this bell melody. And I added this droney bass to follow the bass note. In the second part of the section I focused back on the synths. And finally I added a glass harp, which added a nice swell to the section. In this section, I wanted to switch up the song a bit, and change up the main melody and give a bit more movement and, energy, with the melodies. So first I add the skipping melody, with all of these triplets. At the beginning of the section, I add this very simple pluck melody. Later in the section I make a more complicated version of the melody. Then I have 
the square lead. And I made this really slidey melody. And brought it down an octave here. And I added some sauce in it. And I recorded myself playing the hand flute and we sampled out into a one shot and made this melody. Added the glass harp to give a swell and heartbeat to the song. And it was according to the to beef up the section and just bring a new sound to the table. And added this bell and guitar to keep the listener interested and add ear candy. I put this short sign bass that hits every four bars to punctuate the start of the bar. And same thing with this bass. And I added this longer bass to fill in the low end of the accordion. And finally, in this section I strip away most of the sounds and introduce a sparkly bell that gives a snowy feeling, and I give the glass harp a more prominent part too. So here are the bells, I choose these bells because they remind me of a winter forest. And I bring them up an octave here. And I added this glass harp melody which is this super cool glide which releases at the end of the bell melody. And I sprinkled in some more saws and bells throughout this section. And I added some plucks too. And I also put in the lead melody from earlier but modified IT by changing some notes. And finally I have this bass, which I wanted to keep more subtle, and this synth which I pitched down. And in the last section I repeat the first drop right here, and the song fades out. So in Velo's project, they tend to choose these deep cycling drum sounds, so I sampled this foghorn sound and thought it worked well as a drum-like texture in the background. Then I found this movie drum sound, which I thought really stood out, and brought a nice deep drum sound to the song, and put down this pattern. And finally I placed this impact down to act as a crash. For this song, I am going to be using a nylon string guitar, violin, viola, clarinet, and bassoon, and am using the Rode NT1A microphone to record. So first I recorded these viola and violin swells. Then I recorded Caden on the clarinet and chopped up his part into these background ambient swells which add a super beautiful ambience to the track. Next, the most important instrument, the guitar, which I recorded five different times and layered, pad them in different ears to make them feel larger. And I recorded this guitar melody.
bassoon notes which are layered with the accordion. So from my research I found that White Armor uses Omnisphere, Serum, Nexus, Silent One. But I only have Omnisphere and Serum so that's where I'll be getting most of my sounds. So first I used this pluck from Omnisphere, and I choose this sound because I thought it was a nice blend between flute and guitar pluck. Then this is the preset from the drums I used that I found in Omnisphere. Then I have this clang sound which lays in the background as a texture. Then I found this synth which had this nice icy sound. And I also found these nice ambient bells. And I use this sparkly bell, which I use at the end of the song. And the last preset from Omnisphere is this bass, which has a deep, rich tone that I love. Another plugin I used is Lulno, by Felt Instruments, which is such a good piano plugin, but unfortunately IT has been discontinued, and I really love it because IT has such a nice, atmospheric, and warm piano sound. To fill in some extra space, I added a foghorn sound that adds a cloudy swell and drone in the background. And I noticed that Velo adds a lot of bell sounds. So I did the same and added these church bell sounds. And these bell jingles. And some bell transition sounds too. I added various instrument sounds. Like this guitar plug. Cello bowing. Glass harp. And flutes. So, many of the keys and synths that White Armor uses can be remade in Serum, so here I have four plucks that I made in Serum, that are all pretty similar to each other. So to start out, I'm going to adjust the detune. Then shape the envolpo. Then add some chorus, and IT should sound like this. Next I'll add delay. And finally some reverb. And don't forget the quarter. And this is how to make the basic pluck sound. To spice it up, you can add another saw wave. And add some hyper and distortion. Then you can also change the wave shape. And add a filter, and LFO to make it pluckier. And if you remove the hyper and distortion, you get a much smoother and warmer sound. Next, I made this warbly lead. So you're gonna want to start with a square wave. And add a tune. Next, apply LFO1 to the fine tune. And add a filter input to Mento, and turn to Mono. Next I'm gonna edit the envelope. And IT sounds like this. And you can apply the velocity LFO to the square volume. So for effects I'm adding, chorus, delay, and reverb. And finally, I'm going to adjust the LFO one amount. Next, I'll be covering the bases. So here I have three bases I made, which are pretty similar to each other. Now to sound design these types of bases you are gonna want to start out with a saw wave. Bring IT down two octaves, and add the tune. Then I'm adding distortion. Chorus. Reverb. And compressor. And that's how you make the first bass. Next, you can change the saw to a triangle for a smoother tone. And elongate the envelope. Next, turn on the filter. And add the LFO1 to the volume, and filter cut off. And rearrange the effects. 
And that's how you sound design the last bass. Now let's take a listen to the final product. Thank you.